this is Gato Perro Reviews where today I'm not doing a review but instead I'm showing you my custom bat signal that I built by myself out of the remaining bat signal pieces from the Movie Masters line. Obviously I, I didn't have enough money to get all the Movie Masters and I, I was kind of hating myself because I, I wish I could have gone toy hunting if I could because I don't I can't even drive yet. Oh snap. Anyway. So I couldn't get any of the pieces. I ordered them from Amazon. Amazon already cost me like $85. I actually added all everything up. I didn't even search for the cheapest prices on eBay. I, I guess I got kicked out. No one wants to take my orders or anything. I don't know what happened. So I'm in my own bad signal. If I do say myself, they say so myself. It's pretty good. In fact, perron. Get it? I'm a perro? No? Anyway, I'm going to try to tell you step-by-step -step instructions as best as I can. I probably should have done that first before. Like taking pictures or something while... I was making the best signal to do more instructions, so I'll do my best here. Right now, I'll just give you a kind of a rotation. You can see these are the only three pieces. This is Bane, Batman, and Catwoman. The only movie masters I got, and the rest of it is just you know all cardboard. You sure right here is pretty spherical. It somehow resembles the actual one better, like kind of a lot, cause it's got the little slight sticking at the back where it's, where you push it. You see all around it does rotate up and down like the normal one. And it goes side to side, normal, nothing, nothing different, just, you know, customness or whatever you want to call it. Alright, so this is how I did it. Um, all you need, you see this black, this is just cardboard. And you basically, if you have a GameCube disc, take that. Yeah, take that. Cut out other pieces of cardboard, like this. Like, just cardboard. And kind of just take the measure of the cardboard around the GameCube disc and just tape it around the cardboard that you cut out to be the exact size of the GameCube and then you know you just need a regular flashlight you know like those little tiny ones look at ah oh, I can't show you that much because if I just take it out it would be kind of messed up alright just need a regular flash like a tiny one alright and then what you do you, you take another cutout of the GameCube sized cardboard and you kinda well, for each of them, you have to take the measurement of the middle that we can stick it in, both of them. And what, what the second one would do inside, you can see it's brown, is it'll hold the flashlight inside perfectly so when you push it on to turn it on, it will not mess it up. Then what you need to do, take the, obviously the, the flashlight, what it would do is create a bunch of bat signals, I guess, which will make it look weird. So what you need to do is you need to focus the light. Basically, you get another cardboard piece. You need to cut it out to be the shaped circle of the flashlight. And cut a little hole inside it where the light will, will come out. But tape it in so that none of the light kind of flashes out of it. And then that will focus it more on the bat. And then what I've done here, you can either do this or not. Because then either way, tapering it on would work the same. But this is more added detail. You can see this is actual glass, sort of, that I took from another flashlight. I don't know if you can find it. It's like a welder's flashlight you put on those helmets that people work in the mines. I don't know how to explain. Anyway, this is just cardboard that I cut around it to make the the rim. I don't know if that's what you call it, but the outside of the the shape of it. Just glass and this bat signal is an Arkham Asylum design thing I had on a wallet of mine. So I just took that and put it on here. It looks very nice. And that's basically it. Everything else is just tape. I don't know. I might want to fix it with super glue so it's less visible. But I think it looks pretty nice. I'll show you how bright it is and how it works right Okay, so this is the best I could show how it would work. You can clearly see this is the bat signal. The, exactly the shape that I showed you that I cut it out. My camera doesn't have any type of flashy, fancy light that I can show you in the dark or anything. But this is the best I could show you. You can see it actually does work and it shines the bat signal very nicely. It isn't that dark in here and I'm trying to show you as best I can. But trust me, it will work if you understand the instructions that I just gave you. I don't know. I mean, I'm not that smart, and I came up with how to make it work, so... I'm pretty sure everyone else is somewhat smarter than me, so you can make this work by yourself. So I, I guarantee you, it will. It'll, it'll work. Okay, so I'll just do a little size comparison right now. Here's the basic Movie Masters figures. Here's Bane. This is supposed to be kind of the same size as the actual Batman he's supposed to build, but whatever. This is Batman right here. Obviously, they're just all... I'm just going to bring in all three of them that I collected from the Movie Masters line, mostly the ones I needed. Yes, yes, I did in Batman. No wonder how many times it came out, I, I didn't I didn't buy it, okay? So this here he is next to everyone else. Here's the bat signal. It is pointing down, so if you point it up, it's that tall. It does stand over them, so you can see right there, it's, it does tower over them. When you point it up like you're supposed to into the sky. Now, 
We'll change size and for movie matches we we'll go to the new 52 DC collectibles Batman. Love this Batman. Alright, as so you can see the size there, he would work with it too. I mean, yeah, it's pretty nice. The bat resembles his, the one that's just, just a bit more right there. Alright, so this has been kind of my tutorial slash show off slash demonstration of my custom built bat signal. I'm very proud of it. It might make some minor adjustments some, at some other points, but this is the best I could make. Yeah, I, very, I like it very much, and thank you for watching. We'll see you later with more Gato Pedro reviews coming soon.